They always fight. <laughs> I am Eva Gabor, and I have a secret. I've got a secret brought to you by Crystal Myers, makers of Bufferin, the modern pain remedy that gives you fast relief without upset stomach. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you, Mutsley, and welcome, dear friends, to this here Now I've Got a Secret session. I would like you to meet our sterling panel. Their names and their faces are familiar, but let's refresh ourselves. To begin with, there's Bill Cullen. And Betsy Palmer, mm -hmm. and Henry Morgan, sure. and Bess Myers. Ah, sure. What more do you want? <laughs> now then, before we start tonight's fracas, I would like to hark back to last week's <laughs> performance. Oh, How many of you folks here in the audience, out of curiosity, saw last week's show? Give us showing of hands, about half of you? Uh-huh. Well, I can tell you, I know that an awful lot of people did see it because last Sunday I went out to Yankee Stadium to the Giants football game, and as I walked to my seat, I had to pass right in front of the stands, and as I walked along to find my seat, about 6,000 people in the audience began to go, moo, <laughs> moo. Hey, Gary, where's your cow? Gary? Uh, yes, Beth. I got more invitations to milk a cow this week. I'll <laughs> bet you you did. Now, this is probably mystifying to people who didn't see last week's show, and to explain it to you is going to be a little delicate. Uh, but I'll try. Uh, you see, as part of a stunt, Bess Meyerson was supposed to milk a cow, and uh, Bess was willing. But apparently the cow was uh, somewhat confused as to what we expected of her. And uh, to our consternation, when the cow got out here on stage center, she uh, ad-libbed. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and the show went off the air amid considerable confusion, and that's the whole story. But I must say, I do want to thank the literally hundreds of people who sent us letters and telegrams saying, Dear Gary, it only proves what you've always said. It's what's up front that counts. <laughs> I bring this up so that you will understand in about 10 seconds the expression on Bess's face as I call for our first guest of this evening, please. Oh, no. <laughs> now, Bess, fear not. <laughs> bygones are bygones. What was last week? <laughs> no, what was last week is last week. Buttercup is back. <laughs> With a legitimate secret, a secret that has nothing whatsoever to do with last week's episode. This is something we have learned in the interim. So forget last week. We'll start afresh. Buttercup, if you will whisper your secret to me, I'd like to find out from the... So share it with the audience. <laughs> All right, panel, this concerns a happy venture upon which buttermilk is soon to butter embark. Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Buttercup. Buttercup. Buttercup, yes. Excuse me. Forty <laughs> She's about... <laughs> she is about to embark upon a new adventure, a new phase in her life, and we'll leave the guessing up to Bill Cullen to begin with. Well, you slipped on the name Buttermilk, and I wonder if she's not going to ride in an old jalopy over a rough road. <laughs> but I'll skip that. Does that have anything to do with show business? Yes. Is it an appearance Buttercup is going to make? Yes. Is it on television? No. Movies? No. Legitimate theater? The legitimate theater, yes. $20 down, wow, and $60 to go, and so we go, please, to Betsy Palmer. Is there going to be uh, singing involved in the, mu in the uh, play she'll be involved in? <laughs> in, the in, the in the musical? In the musical? In the musical? Would it be a musical? Would it be a musical? A musical? We, uh, we, yes, it is to be a musical. Uh, is it a musical that's already open? Maybe. No. No? No. Is it a musical that will be opening soon? Well, actually, we've got the question, haven't we? We've got the secret. The secret being that Buttercup has been signed 
to take part in a Broadway musical here. Oh, quite, quite, good. quite true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You narrowed it down for me, Ralph. I thought you wouldn't have to do a thing. Oh, this was, an, uh, gee, this went down very easily. It's a musical. It's called Green Willow. And I would like you to meet the producer who hired Butter, uh, Buttercup here. <laughs> here is Robert Willie. Willie? Tonight. Thank you very much. Sir. Let me ask you about this uh, show that uh, Buttercup is going to be in. Uh, who is the star of the show? Uh, Tony Perkins. Hey, you couldn't do better, Tony Perkins. Yes. When, do, when do you open in New York? Uh, we open in New York uh, March 3rd at the Alvin Theater. March 3rd at the Alvin. Well, let me, don't, don't leave yet, dear. Last week you didn't <laughs> leave soon enough. This week stick around. Right? <laughs> well, uh, may I ask you this, Mr. Mr. Willie, does, uh, is Buttercup here going to have a... A large part in the, in the show? Oh, yes, she, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very important role she plays. Uh, uh, she's on the stage uh, almost throughout the first act. <laughs> how, long, how long is the first act? Well, it'll run about, oh, I'd say an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> on behalf of all of us, Mr. Willie, I want to wish you good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and good luck to all concerned in the forthcoming show. We wish every show could be a hit. Now, my friends, it is time for us to meet our special guest for tonight, one of the hardest working actresses I know. She will soon be seen as the hostess of the December 17th uh, edition of The Big Party here on CBS. Here is beautiful Eva Gabor. It is very nice to have you with us Thank tonight. Thank you, darling. You know, I got to be very good friends with a cow backstage. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they followed the cow with a shuffle all over the place. Oh, that's the way <laughs> things go, you know. <laughs> Ava, I've been reading <laughs> all sorts of exciting things about your acting career, about your studying Shakespeare and, and uh, doing sophisticated comedy with Noel Coward. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was actually going to do Shakespeare, you know, Midsummer Night's Dream, and I was sailing away happily with those rather difficult words until I came to one which I read with great emotion, and I said, wow me, wow me. But it was woo me. And that was the end. <laughs> the line is woo me, woo me. Oh, yeah, so, wow me. We well, see now, many people are mistakenly remember, and they think that you still have an accent, which of course you don't. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so I thought it might be fun tonight, as your secret, if we would have a diction contest between you and the panel. Goody, goody, good. Because all four of them are American-born, and each imagines that he speaks the uh, native tongue in a superior manner. Now, I happen to have with me a number of phrases in the English language, which I would like to see how you can do in compared to the way they can do it. Here, for instance, is a simple sentence. Will you read this for me carefully and with good diction? Slowly. When wicked witches whisk switches, which which whisk switches swiftest. That's not difficult. Now that's easy. Nothing to that. So with such phrases, we will try you out against our panel. Let's get the panel back in now, please. We got to beat them. And their secret is, of course, I mean, our Ava's secret is, of course, the con. All right, here they come. Hello. She used the cops. <laughs> Hello. Hi, friends. You know you Eva Gabor? beautiful, you guys. <coughs> Panel, the clue concerns a contest in which Eva will be engaged. And uh, we will start out with the best, I think. Eva, this contest, will it concern mm -hmm. members of the panel? Yes. All of us? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will it have something to do with what we say? Yes. $20 down and $60 to go. We go to Bill Cullen. Will the person who comes out first in this contest be properly considered a winner? But isn't that always the case? Not some of the contests we've had, Ava, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, will one of us win? Well, you have to if you win. I see, yes. Yes, but in the contest, there's, someone will be declared superior. And will we be given a suitable reward? Well, now you've got to know everything in advance. First win, then we worry. All right. <laughs> That's when we worry. <laughs> $40 down and 40 to go. And we go to Betsy. Ava, does this um, going to deal with all four of us? Yes. 
Is it going to deal with um, one part of our body more than the other part? I would say... Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. we have dear Norman Paris down there in the orchestra pit who plays a piano. Does it have anything to do... Players. Oh, you play for the football, football players. players. Yes, he That's played right. for the, for the Does football Does it have anything to do with music? No. Uh, 60 to go on, 20 to go, Henry. While we're in the contest, will we be sitting? Yeah, uh, well, you could be standing if you care to, no? Yes. If you oh. care to, but you don't have to. You don't have to. Ordinarily, you just... Well, no, I don't mean no yes. I mean... <laughs> it, it... <laughs> it, it all depends on you. You know how difficult you are to get along with. <laughs> so, I am not putting my foot into it. Look at Bess. She has such trouble if with If you Henry. want to get up, you get up. <laughs> <laughs> There has been an ugly rumor around, and completely unfounded, of course, that Ava Gabor has an accent, which we all know, of course, is not true. Uh, she has been taking... Big love. <laughs> big, big love. She has been taking diction lessons, so we thought that we would have a diction contest between Ava and the members of the panel, each as individuals. Now, may we open the curtain, please? Tell me again. I have here a collection of simple English phrases, which I will uh, exhibit to you for the first time. Miss Gabor will be asked to give her pronunciation, her dictional rendition, if you care, on this, and then we will see how well the panel does. Now, let's start, uh, Ava, with this one, if you don't mind. Look it over carefully. Then I will ask you to say it as well as you can after all your diction lessons. Lemon liniment. Lemon liniment. Now, Bill... Of course, we know that Ava has the advantage because she has been taking lessons. So we're going to give you a better chance. Instead of just having one crack at it, take five cracks at it. <laughs> five cracks real fast in a hurry because we don't want to be caught like that. <laughs> Say it fast five times in a row. As Lem fast as you can, <clears throat> five times in a row. Lemon liniment, lemon liniment, lemon liniment, lemon liniment. <laughs> Glad I'm off staff. <laughs> <laughs> I would say offhand, Miss Gabor won that one without much, too much dispute. Miss Gabor, take a look at this next one there. This is an old American classic. If you will say it slowly. A rubber baby boggy bumper. Absolutely. Now, uh, five times. <laughs> Swiftly, Betsy, as fast as you can. <laughs> what license am I going to lose? You're going to lose the license. A license, all right. Uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Betsy, 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 Betsy. At least the tie. Well, no, I was should a... think she won. No, let's call it a tie. You're our guest. <laughs> hey, no, Miss Gabor, again, if you will look at this. Oh, oh I on. go home. I think I go home. Uh oh. Get ready. A, a box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mis a mixer. <laughs> Biscuit, mister? <laughs> All right, Henry. <laughs> Five times as swiftly as possible, Henry. Well, I, I have to tell you one that you can try at home, and it's the worst one in the world. It, it may not be up there. It's so electrical refrigerator. Electrical, electrical refrigerator. Electrical terrible. refrigerator. Electrical Very refrigerator. Easy. Electrical refrigerator. Electrical refrigerator. We can Fine. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind, Mr. Uh, Gabor? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, you miserable character. <laughs> A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits. A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Now, Henry, five times in a row, swiftly. Pass. Of course, as soon as Miss Gabor does it correctly, I'd be delighted. You are just uh, playing for time, do you? Oh, for time. You're going to cheat that. A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. A box of biscuits, Pass. a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. Pass. A box of biscuits, a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. A box of biscuits, and a box of mixed biscuits, and a biscuit mixer. <laughs> Good try. Well, that's not easy. <laughs> now we have one final one. And uh, study what? that one if you will. Uh oh. <laughs> Would you like to try mine, buddy? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ava. Shy Sarah saw six Swiss wristwatches. And Bess, Thank you, you now have <laughs> five <laughs> chances as swiftly as possible. All right. Shy Sarah saw six Swiss wristwatches. Shy Sarah saw six Swiss wristwatches. <laughs> Shy Sarah saw six 
Christmas. Wait, it's impossible. I can't do it. Oh, that's why. Oh, so I'm afraid that's as far good. as our Swiss wristwatches will carry us because we're fresh out of time for the evening. Ava, thank you. It was thank such you fun again. It was fun to be at you. Ava Gabbard. <laughs> Lemon Lindemann. And so on behalf of all of our Lemon Lindemann makers, lemon, this is Gary lemon, Morris saying bye-bye for all of us. Be very kind to of each other with you and oh, goodbye no, no, no. out there. Lemon. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Tatman production. Miss Palmer's gown by Stefania. Be sure to watch Crystal Myers' show, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. See your local listings for time and station. This is John Cannon speaking. Eva Gabor, and I have a secret. I've got a secret brought to you by Crystal Myers, makers of Bufferin, the modern pain remedy that gives you fast relief without upset stomach. Bristol Myers brings you America's number one panel show, I've Got a Secret, starring Gary Moore. Thank you much, Lee, and welcome, dear friends, to this here Now I've Got a Secret Session. I would like you to meet our sterling panel. Their names and their faces are familiar, but let's refresh ourselves. To begin with, there's Bill Cullen, and Betsy Palmer, and Henry Morgan, and Bess Myers. What more do you want? Now then, before we start tonight's fracas, I would like to hark back to last week's <laughs> performance. Oh, Lord. How many of you folks here in the audience, out of curiosity, saw last week's show? Did you give us a showing of hands, about half of you? Uh-huh. Well, I can tell you, I know that an awful lot of people did see it, because last Sunday, I went out to Yankee Stadium to the Giants football game, and as I walked to my seat, I had to pass right in front of the stands, and as I walked along to find my seat, about 6,000 people in the audience began to go, moo, <laughs> moo. Hey, Gary, where's your cow? <laughs>